Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To enter time worked into the weekly timesheet window, click the Create button and then click the weekly timesheet link. Select the name of the employee or vendor for whom you are entering time from the drop down in the upper left corner of the window. To choose the week for which you want to record time, use the adjacent drop down to the right. The current week appears by default. You can select from any week from one year prior to one year in the future. The total hours you enter appears in the Total Hours field in the upper right corner of the page. Above the Activity list is a Print List button, an Export to Excel button, and a Settings button. To choose which days of the week appear in the Activity list, click the Settings button and then check or uncheck the days in the drop-down menu to add or remove them from the Activity list. To enter a time activity, enter the time data into the rows within the timesheet. To select the customer for whom the activity was performed, if enabled, use the customer name drop-down. To select the service performed, use the service drop-down if enabled. To assign a class if classes are enabled, use the class drop-down. To select a location if locations are enabled, use the location drop-down. The Description field should show the description of the service selected, but you can edit it if needed. To make the service billable to the selected customer, check the Billable checkbox if needed. The rate in dollars per hour for the service appears in the Dollars per hour field. You can change it if needed. If the service is taxable, check the Taxable checkbox. Then enter the hours for which the person performed this activity under the Days of the Week columns to the right of the activity. Continue adding activities and entering the time for the activities until you have finished recording the work for the selected employee or vendor. To add more lines, click the Add Lines button below the activity list or click into the bottom activity row. To clear all lines, click the Clear All Lines button below the activity list. To delete a single activity row, click the trash can icon at the right end of the row to delete. To cancel the timesheet entry, Click the Cancel button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window. To duplicate a previous weekly timesheet after selecting an employee or vendor from the drop-down in the upper left corner, click the Copy Last Timesheet button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window to automatically duplicate their previous week's timesheet. To save the timesheet, click the Save button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window. You can also click the drop-down button at the right end of the toolbar to choose either the Save and Close or Save and New command to save the timesheet and then either close the window or open a new timesheet window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.